Hey there, magnet. Well, I guess that also include me. I want you to share your thoughts in the comment section down below whether you want to wait for the M3 lineup or not. Because this video is going to be a plot twist. Apple's ARM-based MacBook first made headlines in quarter 4 of 2020. And it goes without saying that they have since completely disrupted the market in a variety of significant and varied ways. It is not even in a discussion that the M1 and M2 based Mac are among the best and most amazing laptops money can buy. They are good at almost anything. Well, anything except for gaming. They have a kind of battery life that may easily last you two days worth of work and are unbelievably effective and powerful. When you combine this with first-rate craftsmanship, a best-in-class touchpad, an outstanding keyboard, a stunning display, and an unmatched set of speakers and more crazy features, record-breaking sales were achieved. And like I said, it was a record-breaking sale for the M1 MacBook Pro. In fact, the M1 was so good that Apple decided to stop making its M2 range of chips. Given the immense popularity of Apple's whole product lineup, that is basically unheard of. So the M2 is essentially a stopgap solution. Reviewer, industry insiders, and even a lot of the buyers appear to already know that it was never created to have the intention of surpassing a great amount or above its predecessor, which is the M1. So that makes a lot of sense why the M2 is, is a stopgap solution and why the sale is not doing so great and why Apple for the first time ever have decided to end its production so early upon its release after less than two years. But that was the M2 lineup. What about the M3 lineup? The exciting part, the believed to be amazing laptop or amazing chip that will surpass the M1 and the M2 greatly. And that is the rumors we have been hearing so much from different sources. Well, the M3 will be based on TSMC's 3 nanometer process, which will bring tremendous performance and efficiency improvement. The M3 will most likely feature more CPU and GPU cores alongside numerous other refinements, which will also allow it to outperform even the most powerful of Apple's previous chips. However, if you don't know, I do not like recommending people to go buy things or wait for things blindly, which is why I want you to consider your need first before upgrading. So make sure you always prioritize your needs and your demands for power. Because remember, these laptops are getting so much better that you can even use a M2 or an M1 Pro for about two to three or four years without having to change a single thing. So these are how I see the situations when it comes to buying a new laptop. If you have the 2020 MacBook Pro, then definitely the M3 MacBook Pro is 1000% worth the wait. If you have the base 14 inch MacBook Pro and you are hitting a performance block, then it is also worth the wait. But that is when my recommendation stops. Anything more than the M1 chip, which is the M2 and the M2 Pro, and even the M1 maxed out chips for or the M1 Ultra or the M1 Pro, I wouldn't recommend you to just jump in and buy the M3 blindly. Instead, I suggest you to re reconsider your demands for power and if you really need that chips or not because I want you, the viewer, to know one thing and that is the fact that chips on a laptop is important. However, there's an even more important element on a laptop than the chips itself and they are the RAMs, the SSD, the core you are getting on your laptop. If you just buy the base model M3 lineup, it will be worse at most times than the older models because sometimes your older models have more RAMs, more storage so it will have lesser limitation than the base model of the M3. So if you have a financial limitation, be sure to really consider on that aspect in order to avoid buyer remorse. And if you're actually in a financially hard situation, then that can also be good for you as well because there are so many Mac machines that are on a discount that you can buy, get it, and, it, and I can bet you it will exceed your expectation. So make sure to be on the lookout for that. So yeah, we have arrived at our conclusion for this video. And I want to know you guys' opinion on this matter as well, whether you want to wait for the M3, whether you want to buy the M2 Max Max Studio, or other things, or other things regarding the Mac purchase in general. For me, I've been using the M1 MacBook Pro for nearly three years now, and I do not plan on changing to the M2 MacBook Pro, but I am considering switching my workflow to a desktop. So I'm looking into buying the M2 Max and I can't be bothered to wait for the M3 Max because that will be so long and by then I will waste so much of my time and I do not believe that the performance gap will be three or four times bigger than the M2 Max. But I still want to wait and see whether the M3 lineup is good or not. So yeah, that is why I make this entire video because ultimately in this trying situation, a hard situation with a lot of economic chaos in countries, 
It is important to be financially wise about your decision on what to purchase. You know the old saying, values for money? And that is why I want to make this video so that you guys are more informed regarding whether you want to upgrade, whether you want to wait, or whether you want to keep your current machine or not. So be sure to share your circumstance in the comment section down below. And with that said, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you all in the next video. Peace and goodbye.